Welcome to the second video on Inform 7. Now I'm going to build off of what I covered in the last video, primarily creating rooms, creating objects, and putting those objects in rooms. Now instead of writing the code during the lesson this time, I'm going to start with some code I've already written, so I can explain how to do various things, and you won't want to watch me type it. Now I'm starting with two rooms the lobby, and the east wing, each with their own descriptions, and with the east wing being east of the lobby. Now I also have four objects, the George Washington display, the John Adams display, money, and a candy bar. As you can see over here, we have the lobby, we have its description, and then the four objects, the display, the display, the money, and the candy bar. As I mentioned in the last video, Inform 7 comes with a number of default verbs the player can use. Two of them that I haven't covered yet are take and drop. When the player takes an item, unless there is a rule to override it, the player is then carrying that item. If they drop it, the item then gets placed in whatever room the player was in when they dropped the item, unless there's a rule to overwrite that. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. If I take the candy bar, it runs a rule I wrote, but it also says taken. If I check the inventory, I can see I'm now carrying the candy bar. If I drop the candy bar, it is now dropped. And if I check my inventory using I as an alias for inventory, I can see that I don't have anything. Now, I wrote special rules this time to augment the normal rules of taking, dropping, and going places. For example, I wrote, instead of taking the money, say, it might belong to someone here you wouldn't want to be accused of stealing. To demonstrate that, if I attempt to take the money, it stops me. This is an instead of rule. Instead of prevents whatever the action would have been by doing something else. In this case, instead of taking the money, it says on the screen the text I wrote. In the case of a candy bar, when I take the candy bar, I have this rule. Before taking the candy bar, say, no one will miss this, comma, probably, and continue through the action. Notice that when using before, after, if, and a number of other conditional clauses, that they end with a colon then an indentation, and then the rules that will take place. So, for before taking the candy bar, it runs these rules, and then I have it continue on through the action, which is what you see here. I have it saying, no one will miss this probably, then I have it continuing on to take the candy bar. Now that we have the candy bar, if I attempt to go east, I get this text. You walk through the doorway, but are now in the same room, again. Well, that's very odd, isn't it? It's almost as if I used an instead of rule, but I established a different conditional statement. That's this rule right here. I said, before going to the east wing, 
if the player carries the candy bar, do these three things. Move the player to the lobby without printing a room description. Say you walk through the door but are now in the room again, and then stop the action. Unlike the previous before, in which it continued on through the action after doing my rules, in this case it stops the action unless the player is not carrying the candy bar. To demonstrate that, if I drop the candy bar, I can now go east into the east wing that is east of the lobby. By using instead of, before, or even after, you can prevent actions, take actions before the default action, or take an action after the default action, using instead of, before, and after with the normal verbs that are built into Inform 7. In the next video, I'm going to cover changing the status bar, that is, this bar up here that says East Wing and has a score, how to write your own verbs into Inform 7, and how to change the actions of the default verbs that are written to Inform 7. Thanks for watching.